Hey everyone, FSG here. Hope you're all doing well. Well, Giants have just dropped the GamesCon trailer. It is a gameplay trailer, so it is in-game footage. And I'm not kidding you when I say this is going to blow you away. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight in. We'll run it in its entirety and then we'll start to dissect it. But, wow. Peggy 3. Now, I've got to say, it's been a while since I've stopped in my tracks when somebody sent me something to look at, but this trailer from Giants, I've got to say, if you weren't excited for FS25, you must be by now. The introduction of a few new things in this trailer are spectacular. Uh, no, nothing short of that in my eyes. So, we're going to run through, we're going to have a look at it bit by bit and uh, break it down, see if there's anything kind of in the background that we can spot as well, anything different. But, I mean, there's one big takeaway from this, and that's the weather, and we'll come on to that in a little while as we get through it in the trailer. But let's just pick our way through this and enjoy what we've just seen. So it starts off relatively sensible. There's a few tractors running about, there's some nice scenes, and we can see the New Holland T7 there, which is the first time I think we've seen that in any of the footage and then the next frame it jumps to baby animals we can see some smaller calves there it looks to be two different sizes as well the one standing up there in the middle versus the little one that is knelt down i can't tell for sure but um we have baby animals in the game which is super exciting we've wanted to see that progression for a while so great great we've got an extension to animals it's something i talked about in my unanswered video the other week um and it's so great to see that they have given some consideration to animals again you can see the t7 in the background there with some sort of cultivator or planter behind it uh, i think we see that a little bit later on as well and also in the background up there you can see the uh, watchtower or lookout tower um up on the hill there so um other than that just enjoying the scenery the extra detail in the trees there and the grass texture as well so uh, let's move on though we'll skip that forward a bit one of the things i took away from this as the uh, swather rolls into shot is this attention to like depth of field here we've got you know the shadow you could this is a great example of how the shadows have been improved with the the, the detail in the foreground on the swather and then the kind of almost a 
almost like a backdrop, which is this building and the haze and the, and the lighting and stuff looking really, really good there. I do like that. We can obviously see the spinach harvester. They've made a bit of a focus on this. So that's from Oxbow. And uh, you can see the crop in the foreground as well there. Um, then we moved on to this frame, which I was very interested with. And not just because we've got a, another new tractor uh, in the foreground there, which to me looks something like a challenger. I'll be uh, I'll be called on that one. I don't know what it is yet, but uh, for me, um, just instant first reaction says it looks like a challenger. But it was actually the road, the contour of the road and the way the road uh, ebbs and flows with the map now. We have got a better way of doing roads in FS25. They touched on it at FarmCon. Uh, but I just, I spotted it here, uh, you know, it, it follows the roll of the land here and uh, isn't like a static thing that sits on top of the ground. So uh, I like this. Um, I think, again, it just kind of adds to that kind of new texturing and new detail that they've put into FS25. But we'll not dwell on this. We'll move on because we're back to our baby animals. And again, I think this references the fact that we're probably not just going to get one size of uh, baby animal here. We're going to get different sizes so you can see a very very small piglet down there in the bottom left corner and then a slightly bigger one uh, just to the right of it as well uh, as we roll forward a little bit further the way the ears of that little pig bounce is probably one of the cutest things i've seen for a while so love the animations of the new animals that is uh, that is really really nice um then we jump back to our machinery again the 715 we have obviously seen before a few times now um towing uh, which looks Possibly like a, a, a Bentner machine. I can't see any markings uh, to give it away, but just the way that it's constructed and the, the type of wheels it's got and stuff, that does look like a Bentner machine. Um, so I fully expect they'll be back in the game. It's a brand we already have in the game. But this isn't as we move on to the next one with the Massey Ferguson 9S because we are looking at a Novag Cedar here. Uh, so another new brand coming to the game and that looks very nice indeed you can see the subtle movement of the uh, planter there or the cedar as it's uh, dropping its stuff into the ground and the way it's throwing the dirt up behind the wheels as well so that is looking really really good and then we're straight back to our spinach harvester and we can see a brand and a trailer there attached to a fent in the background Again, two brands we've obviously had in the game for a while. Uh, but the Oxbow Planter doing its thing. There's a little bit of focus on that throughout the vid. So obviously they're still just seeding the idea of spinach. So again, into the next shot as well of the spinach harvester in action. But as it passes us here, we start to get the rain. And we can see those streaks on the screen there, which is very cool. Um, and then this just continually grows. You can see those uh, droplets on the mirror as well. So again, a lot of attention to detail there. So I do think when we see rain, it is gonna splash onto the windscreen and one, run down the windscreens and hopefully interact with the wipers as well. So that is huge. But then this rain just keeps growing. So really, really gets to the point in this shot here where it's really heavy and there's a great depth of field to these uh, Rain droplets as well, stuff in the foreground and stuff going on in the background as well. Again, those Load King Prestige trailers in the background. And what looks to me like an international Transtar cabover truck as well. So um, that looks nice, a really, really cool truck. And we do see a few more shots of that later on. But this rain looks something else. Obviously, the combine is just stopping here to, to not continue working because... The conditions are too wet but that is some serious serious rain um really really nice effect there and there you go there's that trans star that i was talking about there uh, with the jnm cart in the background that's a big jnm cart as well and look at the water look at the water droplets uh on the exhaust of the truck there and the wet the glistening rain on the wheels and the wet wheels um this is looking so detailed it is fantastic now um little observation here we have got a third person running again so that's like our third reference to a uh, third person view of a player in the game um i know they've done this before but uh, the fact that he's running to the track I, I still think we are going to see third person in the game i'm sure i'll be wrong uh, but i don't know just a gut feeling that something is coming with that um now Watch this. Just before the transition, 
to the next piece, which is a big deal, we get a single frame or a couple of frames where everything almost goes white. You see this? I think that is a flash of lightning. I can't be sure, and I had to watch it a good few times, but I think that is lightning. They're going to bring lightning in so it's stormy weather. Um, and talking of stormy weather, this is where things get really exciting. So we have got that tornado, but look at the debris in the air. Look at the amount of uh, stuff going on around it. That is hugely, even the detail of the wind here as it passes through. I mean, they've done some great camera shots here, but you're actually within the tornado there uh, and you can see it passing. And it's fantastic. This is huge. This is huge. I mean, introducing weather is one thing, but this is another level. I am, I am really impressed with this. Now I've paused it here because not only do you get to see that debris floating around and the and the depth of that uh, shot there, I mean it's so good. But um, look at this, Peel Ferry operated by the Arkansas State Highway and Transportation Department. So this suggests that the U.S. map is based around Arkansas. Now uh, I did a little bit of a Google, found where Peel Ferry was. Now if you look at it on Google Maps and then you look at the PDA, they aren't the same, um, but Giants never said this was based on a real place, but they've obviously taken cues from different places in the US. Um, and I really like the fact that it, they've used the name and things like that. But interestingly, look at the bottom here, note, ferry will not operate during periods of high winds, which it would appear we're having at the moment, waves or heavy fog. Now we've seen high winds, because we're looking at it. We've seen fog, mist, but we haven't seen waves yet. So I'm now wondering if the water becomes more choppy if the winds are high. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. I'm just making a little bit of a speculation on that one. Also note there that there is a uh, last trip uh, message at the bottom. So um, it looks like the boat will only operate at certain times, which is interesting. Anyway, we move on and we enjoy this tornado. The detail in that is fantastic. Now we can see the uh, truck escaping very quickly there as well. And now we flip to the aftermath here and it actually does crop damage. Trees are felled as well. That is fantastic. Now moving on, we see the T7 we saw at the start of the trailer and he is attached to a Grimmy Matrix planter there. And then the Senebogen Telehandler. So again, another new brand, which is great to see. But we don't stay on that for too long because we jump straight to the John Deere 9R here with the JM Auger Wagon. And again, you get a good look at those Load King Prestige Hopper trailers as well. That is looking really good and probably the best view of the truck as well that we've seen so far. So I'm loving that truck. Now you can also see the pump for the water on the edge of the field there. So obviously we are looking at rice here and you can see the rice in the hoppers as well. Um, so we'll let that run and see the animation on the auger wagon there. And now this, I think, is the Challenger that we saw on the road before. We've got the dual wheels, similar colouring, uh, no logos or anything to identify it, but to all intents and purposes to me, that looks like the Challenger. Now we'll run it forward a little bit further because it shows us the Great Plains Cedar there as well. Now a couple of people did identify this in some of the information we got with the spinach. Uh, release of information last week um, and it was spotted in the background in one of the sheds but rolling forward again we get to see the oxbow spinach harvester unloading into that brantner trailer quickly and then a nice pan up from those load king trailers to the x9 working that rice field and then we finish on this shot here and that to me very much looks like the front end of a Valtra tractor. So again, Valtra coming back to the game and that looking great in the background. And then a nice little Easter egg at the end. We have got this little guy. We've got goats. So we have another new animal as well as baby animals, as well as water buffalo. We have baby goats and I'm sure adult goats as well. So. What else are we going to see? I don't know. Are they going to overhaul the way animals work or have they just introduced new animals? We'll just have to wait and see 
Was that lightning I saw? Or am I just getting a bit carried away now? And another reference to potentially a third person mode again. Just assumption by me at the moment. I would love to see it, but we don't have any concrete news or information to find out otherwise. Of course, this is the first information we have had ahead of Gamescon launching today. Now we're just going to have to wait and see what else comes out over the next few days. We do have people there playing the game for the very first time who are going to feed back to us with any additional information that they can find out. But like I said at the start, this trailer has got me super, super excited for FS25. And I hope it has you too. So there you go. I think that's pretty special, if I'm being honest. That looked really, really good. If that has piqued your interest and you think, okay, now I've seen enough to want to pre-order the game, you can do using my link and using my code FarmSimGuy. Uh, links are in the description and I'll leave them at the end of the video as well. But for now, there you go. Our first gameplay video out of Gamescon. And like I said, people are going to be playing this game for the very first time at Gamescon, so I'm sure we're going to get a lot more information over the next few days. But I am super excited for FS25 now, and I hope you are too. For now, from me, take care, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye.